My name is Danielle Smith and welcome to Palestine's Virtual Vacation Bible School 2020. Our theme this year is Wild About Jesus with the scripture, Psalms 150 with the verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So today I want to talk to you about Daniel, a man who loved to pray to God and a man that believed in God with all his heart. Well, the thing about David, David was a good worker. He was a follower of God. He loved God. He did what God wanted him to do. The king loved him. Most people loved him. But guess what? In this situation, when somebody loves you a whole lot and when a lot of people like you a whole lot and when God loves you a whole lot, there's always going to be a hater or someone who doesn't like you just because you're doing good. So, Daniel had this problem with these men. So one day, the men went to the king and said, you know what, let's make a rule that every man should bow down to you and praise you. And anybody who does not praise you, they will be sent to the lion's den to be eaten up. The king agreed to it. Well, these haters knew that Daniel Work was not gonna do this. So in fact, one day, they saw Daniel praying to God three times in one day. And guess what? They went immediately to King Darius and told him, Daniel is not following the rule. He's not praying to you. He's praying to God instead, which means you need to send him to the lion's den. The king did not like this because, as I said before, the king really, really liked Daniel. But he had to follow the law. So... He made Daniel go into the lion's den. The next morning, the king immediately went to the lion's den. And guess what? Daniel was just sitting there. He had not been touched. He had not been bitten. He had not had any scratch on him. And so then the king was really happy. And Daniel said he trusted God would keep him safe. And God did keep him safe. So young people, I tell you today that whenever you're going through any trouble, whenever you're sad, whenever you feel like just things are not right, or whenever you feel bad about anything, pray to God and he'll make you feel better about any situation, okay? And I also want you to tell others that God can help them out too and make them feel better if they pray to him, okay? So I want to do a little project with you. I want to make a lion, okay? So, you should have a sleeve of a graham cracker. Break it in half like that. And then you're going to take your icing or you're going to take your peanut butter and you're going to lather that stuff on there on one side of one and then one side of the other. Parents, as we're doing this, could you please take pictures of your child doing so and then send them to clifton.homes at pmbc.org. That is clifton, C-L-I-F-T-O-N dot homes, H-O-L-M-E-S at pmbc.org. And also, if you have any questions, you can also contact that same email address, okay? So you see, I have peanut butter on each side, on one on each side. And then I'm going to take these pretzels as you should have too, okay? Then you do it like so. And keep going and you know what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna break a few of these in half and children if you need some help don't hesitate to ask for help okay there's nothing wrong with asking for help
Okay, I'm gonna eat that last piece. So then, you put the side with the peanut butter over the pretzels. So now your pretzels can't move. You, they're squished between it. And then, take your peanut butter or your icing again. And put it on top. Just like that. And then I'm using, you can use chocolate chips, you can use raisins, craisins, or even if you have peanuts. Like that for the eyes, for the nose. And mouth, okay? And there's my lion, okay? You can take a little bite. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So, again, if you have any worries, if you have any problems, always pray to God, okay? So let us pray out. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this morning. And thank you for giving us all that you've given us. Thank you for letting us see the light. Thank you for giving us eyes to see and mouths to talk and nose to smell, ears to hear, feet to walk. We thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for filling our bellies, giving us a place to stay. And we ask that you continue to help us and to, to be with us and to walk with us and protect us. In the name of Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Okay, bye, y'all.